of name two full 15s to play two 30-minute quarters each in a trial match against Samoa at Scully Park on Friday night. The whole squads arrived, including those who won't play, like injured stars Ben Robinson and Rocky Elsom. Uh, I do the hard work so the backs can install the try. The past two days, Waratah players have been busy visiting local schools. Baraba last night with the, some of the juniors up there as well and had a good time, but uh, I think this week's pretty chock-a-block for a lot of the players, but you know, get out here and see some of these country kids going to have a good time is, is always good. Beric Varnes will start the match as captain. Elsom and Robinson both remain sidelined through injury. The NRL has also sent its players back to school. Former Werris Creek junior Ben Smith, one of several Parramatta Eels on the Liverpool Plains as part of the NRL Community Carnival. They were dancing with the stars at Werris Creek Public today. Parramatta Eel Ben Smith couldn't get away with feigning injury. He's 100% fit ahead of his side's trial with West Tigers this Saturday. It's a big achievement, you know, for such a small town. The current visit has come just days after the Eels had bunkered down in Armadale for a pre-season camp. Some new infrastructure will be unveiled at Armadale Sports Ground this Friday night. An electronic scoreboard will be switched on for the first time when Round 1 of the Armadale 2020 competition kicks off. We've been planning it for about three months and uh, yeah, we had a bit of money left over from last year's 2020 and things like that and we said we'll spend that on another asset for the ground. Uh, it'll be up and running Friday night is our plan. The $16,500 scoreboard has been funded by the Armadale Cricket Association. You know, we want to put money back into our ground. We think this is a great facility and it's just another avenue for us to do it. Friday's Walker Cup meeting has been moved to Armadale Jockey Club. Stewards have found Walker Racecourse unfit for racing due to recent heavy rain. Mount Rainier on the outside moves up, puts the head in front. Odell. Two weeks ago, Jessica Drury rode Mount Rainier to victory by a nose to win the Walker Cup prelude to gain automatic entry into this Friday's Walker Cup. As well as Mount Rainier, Martin also has Scarbank in the 14-horse field for the $25,000 Walker Cup, which has moved to Armadale due to Walker's track affected by heavy rains. Saturday's non-tab meeting abandoned altogether, adding to the list of recent washing Outs. Still no certainty, more rain's not on the horizon. Wet weather sort of played havoc with a lot of trainers, owners. We're all sort of waiting to get a run somewhere and the right distance, you know. Sometimes it can put you behind a month. So, you know, hopefully we'll get to go around. Martin also has rash on in the Ron Martin Memorial Maiden, named after his uncle. And let's hope Jess can ride another winner before she heads up north. And, of course, a huge Friday coming up with the Waratahs in Tamworth as well. Oh, look, a great chance, isn't it, for locals to get out and see some of the players in action. Yeah, it's I not every day. I bet you've got tickets already. I can't wait. <laughs> Thanks for that, Billy. We'll check the weather for you up next. And then a local town becomes an international melting pot.